the entire across board the description um, everybody has talked about the enthusiasm of the Nigerian voter in this election but Eddie do you think this can be um, sustained let me use the word sustained some pulling in it now are not voting today some the elector the INEC officials came in and left some with excuses of card card reader not working and then some the INEC officials didn't show up at all. Do you think that enthusiasm will still be there coming tomorrow? Well, I can say that uh, there will be some disappointment, but I think the overall drive is to perform a civic duty uh, for those who are genuinely and deeply interested in either getting a new leadership or ensuring that the process goes through. I think um, it will be part of this sacrifice they would have to make. So I, I don't see them, I don't see the enthusiasm winning, I don't see them getting uh, disinterested, I don't see them uh, losing steam in terms of uh, their commitment to uh, democratic pursuit. So I, I think it will be sustained, especially for those who haven't uh, uh, voted. Uh, if people can trek three hours, Sometimes under the rain, to get to a place. Uh, I'm sure that uh, going back tomorrow to perfect the, the process wouldn't be so much of a, uh, a task. But in terms of, I mean, and I uh, they've spoken about their situation room where they're, they're assessing uh, the scenario as it played out today. Several other areas, like the areas you mentioned, when as at the time you left, say three, or when you heard about it, up to three. No INEC official turned up at that time. And then there are some other areas where I'm looking at this one from uh, uh, Chinwe, where they say in uh, Omuku, isn't he to him? They say what for? They only did accreditation, but a certain person carted away the box. So, this kind of information, I mean, it will take some time, perhaps not, for the commission in Abuja to get this information and take appropriate action to address this challenge. Let, let's even put this in a broader perspective, just so that we, we do not uh, throw away the baby with the bathwater. If you, if you understand the effort of INEC regarding this entire process, uh, you, would, you would confirm that the purpose is to increase the credibility and integrity of the exercise. And therefore, um, if it has also uh, worked at cross purpose with persons who had intentions of derailing that process or undermining the integrity of that process, it will be understandable. Now, even before this election, we had stories about the sale of PVCs. We had reports about the return of those PVCs. Essentially because it dawned on them, arising from the efforts of INEC, yes. as we are bound to believe, that <coughs> it will be inconsequential, it will be of no moment, it will be of no use to take, which is why the Nigerian people were not just carried along, the Nigerian people were determined to see that even INEC succeeds in this new initiative of ensuring <coughs> that uh, rigging or electoral malpractices is reduced to the minim minimum minimum uh, level. And so, um, yes, it is true that uh, there could be such cases of uh, ballot snatching or whatever. But whoever does that, having regards to the mechanisms that have been outlined and put in place by INEC, we may have done that just for no reason. Uh, because ultimately, if, they, if what we are assured would happen by the processes already put in place by INEC, does happen and does count. All of those efforts, all of those malfeasance will come, uh, will become of no use. But please permit me to refer to, <coughs> these are governors, presidents, and so on and so forth. No person talks about uh, my grandmother in that uh, remote uh, hamlet that I just told you about. Uh, uh, and and that, that reminds me of the very early experience that we had. Buhari had a smooth sale. Less than a minute, he got accredited. Our dear president could not. Now, in that particular uh, pulling unit in Otoke, we're told that not less than four card readers were deployed. I, and I have issues with that. I had listened consistently with, to my friend, uh, Kayode Ido, 
And again, that reminds me, the governor just said, ten fingers were turned. No. It all says, the training we give to our men is when you try the first three fingers, if it doesn't work, forget it. Issue an incident form. Because there is every likelihood that Please, it's... just hold your Very well. We'll come back. Very well. Let's, let's um, link up with our correspondent, Olu Phillips, who was um, with uh, one of the candidates today. Hello, Olu Phillips. What's your situation? Okay, um, I can tell you good evening, Gimba. Um, what we have here is a situation of um, people who have decided that they still want to be a part of this whole process, talking about um, electorate here in Victoria Garden City. Um, I can tell you authoritatively that the vice presidential candidate for uh, the All Progressives ca um, Congress, um, talking about Professor Yomir Shabanjo, is yet to vote. And that's because um, the accreditation took a lot of time. Over 800 people were to be accredited. And as we speak now, talking about voting, just about 179, 180 people have voted. It's going orderly, and people are still waiting to vote. Uh, let me also remind you that um, Professor Shubanjo, by way of um, his number in position, will be voting as a 200th person in this place. When he came, he registered as number 200, because what the people here did was to arrange a, a, a number of people. When you come, you register your name. Based on that, you can now um, be accredited, or your name can now be cross-checked from the master list. So when the uh, vice presidential candidate came in, he was number 200th person, and so he has to actually wait for his turn. So as we speak, he's seated quietly somewhere waiting to cast his vote. Um, uh, we are doing 180, 181 now, and we have about 700 there about to go. And until the last person votes here, it seems like everybody's determined, everybody's determined, I beg your pardon, to wait and see what's happening. Meanwhile, something interesting is happening here. Uh, the people here have um, decided to turn this to some kind of a mini carnival. They have, they've provided themselves food, they provided themselves chairs and um, music, um, some, some sort of picnic. They're having some barbecue here, heavy cooking, heavy food. They've had their breakfast here, they've had their lunch, and they seem like um, they're also going to have dinner here. Uh, well, it's happening in their neighborhoods. So I can imagine why they can also have the luxury to have to wait until this whole process ends. That the people are, what, what would they say now, a sit-down thing just so that they watch this entire process come and go. Say that again. What you're reporting is that the people in that area, in that polling unit, are more like seated there and waiting for the process until it ends. Absolutely, absolutely. More so since, since what they did was also to allow the elderly, if you are 60 and above, that priority was given to them in terms of accreditation and voting. So they, 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 were, they, they, made, they made with that first, they cleaned up that if you're 60. So as we speak, if you're 60 and above, you ought to have been done with your voting now and should have returned home. So what we have are people who are 60 below and who have to do that in order of numbers. So people are actually waiting to vote. The number has not reduced except for those who have voted and gone. From the kind of uh, word you're getting, are they all determined to vote today or perhaps continue tomorrow? I am not getting any form of indication that people want to return here tomorrow, more so if they've waited this long because if you, if you wait, I went around to weigh the impression on the minds of the people. I think this is happening in their neighborhood. It's a secured neighborhood. It's happening in the estate, in the recreational park of the estate. Uh, they've dedicated all day today for this event, and I think it's not likely that this may be carried over because it's moving so smoothly. They've provided generator. They've provided um, lightning system, and that is happening. And um, it doesn't look like this will be carried over to tomorrow. All right, uh, thank you very much indeed, um, Olu Phillips.